lesson 6. In this lesson, I'll be showing you how to import a crypto wallet. One important thing you need to know as a crypto trader and investor is that your private key or your seed phrases is your wallet. Let me repeat. Your private key or your recovery phrases is your crypto. The wallet application you are using, whether MetaMask, Trust Wallet, Coinbase, Decentralized Wallet, or Binance, it doesn't matter. As long as having access to your crypto is concerned, maybe for platform features, it may matter the application you are using, but for your crypto balance, it does not matter. You are able to get access to your crypto on any of these applications simply by importing your private key or seed phrases. There are situations in which one might want to import a wallet instead of creating a new wallet. The first one could be when someone forgets his password or login pin. In that case, you just have to reinstall the app, import your private key, set up a new password or pin, and you continue your crypto business. The second situation could be when you want to have your crypto wallet on another app, Let's say you are using Trust Wallet, but what you want to do on Trust Wallet is not working fine on Trust Wallet. You could download MetaMask and import your crypto wallet and continue your operation on MetaMask. Other situations could be when you want to have the same wallet in different applications like in MetaMask, in Trust Wallet and more or when you have more than one wallet. For instance, you could import more than one wallet on Trust Wallet and other apps that support multiple wallets importing. I hope this important point was clear and if it was, it is time to show you how to import a crypto wallet next. For this practical, we will be importing the wallet we created from MetaMask in the last lesson. So go to your app store and download Trust Wallet, assuming you have not downloaded it before, and install it. If you have downloaded it before, all you need to do is to add, add it as one of the wallets so that you will have multiple wallets in Trust Wallet. Like me, I have about five or four wallets in my Trust Wallet. I am doing this one just to show you again how to download a fresh app and install your wallet now at this point you can see create a new wallet under it you can see i already have a wallet click on i already have a wallet accept the terms continue because of security feature of trust wallet it will not show my screen but i'm sure you are seeing the image i placed there it will ask you now to create a passcode. So go ahead and create a passcode. Confirm the passcode. If you want to use this wallet across all the networks, click on MultiCoin Wallet. I don't see any reason why you don't want this. So I will click on MultiCoin Wallet. You can name your wallet anything under name session. Next, get your 12 phrases, your recovery phrases you copy it. I told you to save it, keep it private, get it and paste it inside this field or type it inside this field correctly. I will get the recovery phrases I saved from the last lesson and put it in here. Once you have put in your phrases correctly, click on import. And if it's correct, boom, you see wallet imported correctly. You could close up the guide or go through it by clicking on it to show you the features. If you want to get alerts from this wallet, enable notification now look at that we have our wallet on trust wallet and a proof that this wallet is not new wallet you can see there's already money in it you remember where this money came from from our last lesson remember we sent we made a transfer of some bmb binance coin to this wallet and guess what? It was worth six dollars that time, but now it is now worth seven dollars. The power of crypto. That means the market has gone up from the time of the last lesson recording and now. Isn't that amazing? 
one thing i want to explain here before i end this video is how networks work on trust wallet as compared to metamask recall that in metamask we have to add bnb network we have to add support for it for it to appear here but on trust wallet you don't have to add support for networks there is no option to do that all the supported networks they will appear here by default if i send if i send ethereum here it will appear here if i if i send avas network coin here it will appear here so that's the beauty of trust wallet but both of them they have their advantages and disadvantages that is why you need to learn how to import so that you can always go to any wallet import your wallet and do your business there i hope that was helpful on importing crypto wallets in the next module we will take a closer look into cryptocurrency chains or blockchain see you in the next one